Hello everyone, I am Venrith and welcome back to some more Mudrunner. So, last time we played, we ended up bringing everything and unlocking this garage and I unlocked a watch point just here. So, today's uh, endeavours are to unlock these other watch points and uh, I think we'll take it from there. So I thought if we go for this watch point that's down here first, that'll unlock that log kiosk. And then we'll probably come down this road here and see if we can unlock this watch point and then maybe this, but we'll see what's up, um, what the deal is once we've unlocked this one. So I'm just going to set up waypoints there and uh, let's get going. So part break off and let's get moving. I'm going to have to get through all these trees, so Hopefully I won't get stuck. Should be alright. Um, let me go for a bit more manual control over my gears. Well, I'm even now getting stuck. Even in this big thing. Now we've got a nice big truck up there, which is pretty cool. And just trying to figure out which side of these trees to go on. I think I might go down this side. Yeah. Okay, only 100 HP to so There's a clearing just there, I think. Oh, the terrain's a bit bumpy. Is it a bit of a clearing? Eh. Not quite, but good enough. Yes, look at this. Bit of a way through here. Uh, trees. Knock the small one down. Uh, can I get through there? The answer is yes, just about. But well, my word, are these stumps. These are not good. Uh, where's the flag? I'm going the wrong way. Okay. Thank goodness I'm in a big van. Oh. Vigo. Vigo. Whatever you class it as. So this is one of the uh, log kiosks. So we're going to have to come back here soon with some trucks. And, uh come and collect some of those logs. Again, I'm trying to not use the all-wheel drive as much as possible because it really, really drinks the fuel. Right, that's that done. So that's some of that. So we've got log kiosk here and log kiosk here. So there's going to be two ways to do this. There's that way to watch point. I think that way to watch point. So I'm thinking we'll go back to log kiosk and we'll come down and we'll see what this road's like. So we're going to go to there, we're going to go to there and then we're going to go to there. That's my plan. I'm not saying it's right or accurate, but uh, we'll see what happens. 
Now can I get out from around these logs? Oh dear. Right, forward a bit. Wow, well, that gear is really slow. There we go. We're through. So by unlocking all the watch points, it at least gives me an idea as to, you know, where I need to go. Oh, jeez, this is boggy. Look at this. Look how much I'm sinking. Might struggle bringing a truck down here. Let me just look at this. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should just more go straight out to this one first. Um, no, I'll risk it. Stick to the original plan. That's always the best way. Okay, so when I bring trucks up here, I'm going to have to be very, very careful because this thing's a beast and even this thing's uh, slipping and sliding all over the place. So it could become very, very easy to get stuck with the smaller vehicles. And look, some trees down here. These will not help either. Because you can get stuck on them. Quite easily. So I'm just giving it a little bit of all-wheel drive on occasion, just to give me that initial bit of traction. Enjoy more water. Right, that's the first waypoint that we've reached. Next job is getting around here somehow, and figuring out a way across. So let me go to the map. Okay. Unfortunately, we've got nothing uncovered, so it's a case of hoping for the best. Uh, this looks like it's getting a little bit deep. So let me go back a bit. See, the bit over there just looks a little bit shallower. I'm trying to sort of use the camera on a higher... I'm not sure if this will pick it up on video or not. But you can just sort of see the bottom of the river. And when you can sort of see the bottom of the river, it gives you an idea as to where is deep and where is shallow. Um, I think I need to go backwards. I think I need to go this way a little bit. Oh, 
Oh dear, that does not look good. That does not look good at all. Mm. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. That is definitely not good. So let me just pull out of that bit. Sometimes, because you can't actually see much of the map on here, because I haven't uncovered the waypoint, I literally just, I'm just guessing it. Just treading very carefully and, and doing a bit of guesswork. I mean, I think it's paid off. I still got to get back, mind you, but it might be a bit easier to find a route. Let's turn all wheel drive off because we don't want to burn through the fuel. Because all wheel drive takes up a lot of fuel. <laughs> So you want it on as little as possible. Oh, it's getting stuck like crazy here. Hey, right. So as you can see, it's uncovered all this area, which gives you an idea as to where it might be passable. Because I'm wondering if there might be a route across there somehow when we do this lumber job. But in the main point, I've got to get that watch point. So the best thing to do, I think, It's probably come back and come across this way rather than try and drive down the river. So we need to find a spot where it's not too deep. Something like that, maybe. Uh... Or could come across this way. Uh, let's bring that up to there. That to there. Yeah, it's a bit further, but it looks a bit safer. Let's put some lights on, because it is dark. Right, we're off. Last watch point. All these trees are annoying. See how easy it is to get stuck on them. It's crazy. Okay, here goes. Let's drop the uh, gear down a little bit. Gives a little bit more control. Look 
because that's the thing when, when you're driving through the roof oh, the best thing to do is go so slowly let me just have a look, another look at the map see if there might be a way down to this watch point so I mean I could just come straight down here it might work if I just come straight down look at that I mean I'm getting closer then it is risky At least when you're on the ground, you've got stuff that you can winch to. You know, you can attach a winch to some trees and pull yourself out if you get stuck. But uh, in the water, it's a whole different game. You've just got to do it on based on what you can see on the map and a bit of feel. Just hope for the best. So, as you can see, the main problem now is we don't have access to any data. So now it's a case of feeling it. This could be ridiculously risky. See how it looks really deep over there at the top part of the screen? Because, like, get the mouse right here you can sort of see the ground don't look too bad but they are can't see anything but it just could be the fact that I've got no light on the subject I am not liking that pull back. Right. Yeah, that looks deep. So let's go more towards the right and we'll see if we get any better look. Oh dear. Back out, back out, back out. As you can see, my fuel is dropping massively as well. This might have been a bad idea. Yeah, this might have been a bad idea. At some point, I'll just have to try and cross. No, 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 no. Back out, back out, back out. And I've put myself in that view. And I don't know how to get out of it. There we go. This is risky. This was a bad idea.
Hmm. All my years of bad ideas, this one really takes the biscuit. My fuel is going down. I need the fuel truck. Maybe I should head back to land. Is that where I can refuel? Try again. Nope. Also, nope, I don't think. Nope, 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 nope. It probably would have been easy to go back to land in the first place and come around. Oh well, you don't try, you don't learn. This is close. As you can see, my fuel tank is glowing red there to basically say, Yeah, you're low on fuel. And it's like, Yeah, don't I know it? So, what I think I might do now. Uh, as I appear to be stuck almost. Jeez. There we go. Land ho. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one here for now. And I'm going to go to the map. And I'm going to switch to the E73110. Correction. E seven three ten. I'll do. I did an extra zero. Right. Now this is a massive fuel drill. Uh, has it got enough fuel in it? Yes. Look, it's got one thousand six hundred and forty fuel. Plenty of fuel. It has got a little bit of damage, but not too much. Now. The turning circle on this is absolutely atrocious. However, my word is it a beast. Right, so I want to get down to clear these. I want to just come down, come down to there, come down to there, down to there, down to there, down to there. Oh, nuts. Down to there. Yep. Now this thing might have an easier time of getting across the river. That is certainly something worth thinking about. If 
In fact, I'm not sure, but you might be able to configure this for log hauling, in which case it might be best overall. Use the K700 for loading logs onto this. Yes. That does mean driving this all the way back up to the garage to reconfigure it. This thing drinks a lot of fuel, but it's a, it's a powerhouse. Don't ask me what that says on the bank. I can't tell you. Right, keep an eye out for the K700. It's around here somewhere. Oh, look at this, I've not even put all-wheel drive on yet. And it's still moving. Uh, I expect too soon. Oh, achievement. Cool. Is that it over there? That is it. Yes. a bit closer and then hopefully we should be able to refuel this can we do it from here no it needs to be a lot closer oh I'm taking damage now uh, let me get out of here quick taking a lot of water damage Okay, fuel system, uh, still can't reach it. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just switch to this and we'll just drive this closer instead. Like so. Inch truck. That. And fuel cistern, and we'll load up the K700. There we go, full fuel. Right, I think first things first. Let's get this out of here. Maybe it's not the best for going through the water. To manual reverse gear because that way it's have diff lock as well. This is a lot more control, a lot more grip. Right, so I think I'll just leave this here for now. Then we'll switch to the K700. 
now we've got a fuel tank of fuel, we can risk going for the watch point. Not that way, though, by the looks of it. That looks deep. So, yeah, again, it's just about... Finding your way through. And hoping for the best. Right, so that's where I'm heading. You see that little watchtower just there? That's where I've got to head. I might have to go around a little bit, though. This looks rather deep. Oh, no. That's deep. So, yeah, it's just a lot about just feathering the accelerator and just moving little by little. Ooh. And be prepared to stop at any minute, just like that. And usually the best idea is just reverse back just a little bit, change direction and try again. And as you can see, I've got a little bit more height this time. Oh. So it's quite deep there, but it isn't that deep to the right. So let's just kick into the right for a bit. No, it's not entirely where I want to go, but... So it looks like the, the you know, the na uh, shallower part goes more towards this little island that's in front of us. And then we should be able to hop to the other one, hopefully. Oh, that's deep. Let's back a bit. Change direction. No, I need to get out of here, like, now. Taking a lot of damage. I take too much damage, and the whole thing will cut out, and then I'll have to get a repair truck over here. Which is not good. Right, let's have a little look at the map. Okay, so it looks like there might be a bit of a... Let me cancel that. That looks a little bit shallower there, maybe. I'll just go that way. Now, I say it's shallower, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. You see, as soon as I get to that flag, it'll uncover all the terrain. And then I can see exactly where the shallow parts are and where the deep parts are. I think I've done it. Don't speak too soon, don't speak too soon. 
Don't speak too soon. There's the achievement for exploring deluge right so now we can sort of see what the river's like and if there's a way across here because obviously the next thing we've got to do is get some logs on a truck and then bring them over here and we've got to deliver eight loads so the question is What's easier coming across here, across there, or going all the way back around? Now that depends on if there's a way across here. That I'm not sure on, if I'm totally honest. Yeah. Right. Oh, and that was on land as well. I could have just put that truck over. I thought that might have been another little island or something. Okay. I'm just trying to think what to do right now. What might be best is actually coming back on the land here and driving around down to here. This will give me an idea what the water is like at the bottom there. And if there's a potential way through. Now I've just got to drive over all these fallen trees. difficult needs a bit of all-wheel drive to get over those little few trees right so at least now we're near where the crossing point is so now we can uh, load up the map and have a little look across here so as you can see there's quite a bit of dangerous areas that is quite deep in quite a lot of places like look at all that that's just all really deep um there's a shallow part of there um Yeah. So you go to here and then you've got you're surrounded by deep water. You can go up to there. But again, you're kind of surrounded by deep water. Is there a way through that way? Oh uh, You could maybe make it through to there that way, actually. Should we give that a go? See if that works. And then from there, you can probably get back onto the land. You're basically going to be hopping between... Oh, park and break. Uh, there's a couple of bits of land here. Oh, that's slippy.
Whoa. Now, if you think this is taking damage, imagine what's going to happen. with a smaller vehicle. Which might mean I have to take a different route. Okay, can you see the shallow point just there in front of me? Nice. Um, that was all I did. Probably just straight down there and straight through. That's going to be risky taking normal trucks through there. Risky enough taking this thing through. If I use this one to load trucks up with, with logs, and then I can always, if I get stuck going that way, can always use this to pull it back out again. I think that's probably a small move. So we're going to go for logs from the bottom here. And I might need fuel up again soon. Now, loading logs with this thing is a right pain in the backside. However, you know, using a normal crane is a lot easier, but um, it does allow me to, you know, have it nearby for pulling vehicles out. And it allows me to carry more logs on the, the lorries. So we'll go for this one. Let's bring this one down a bit. Uh, start engine. Right, manual reverse gear. Let's go back. So all I'm going to do is pop this a bit closer down there. Ready for uh, the next part. Look how muddy that one is. That is very muddy that road there, so in fact I might even just leave this here for now uh, just in case I get stuck with one of my other <laughs> it was off the ground uh, in case I get stuck by one of the other lorries so next options really is bring ooh yeah I need a couple of lorries down here so I can load them up with logs and then we'll sort that bit out afterwards yes so the hey there we go 
So by not using the crane, we could then do logs. So that carries three points worth of logs. That carries four points. Uh, so you'd want probably a trailer hitch. Oh, pardon me. And then... Log trailer three points, but then you've got no other log trailer. No. Okay, let's uninstall that. Why can't I take four? Log carrier. Log carrier is required to install medium log cart. Carry and load medium full logs. Yeah. So I could give it. I can either do it in two trips or I could do it in three. The problem is with the way the water is, I think short logs might be easier. Because if you've got to do a lot of twisting and turning, the last thing you want is something that could potentially jackknife on you. So I'm going to say, let's remove that then. Uh, and then we'll just go for a short logs. Like so. I could take a trailer as well. And if I take a trailer as well, I could always just then... Abandon it if I need to. Because I do believe that you can actually. Ooh. Nope. Now let me move out of it. I just want to try something. A detached trailer, yes, you can. And then. Um, uh, I'll kind of mess this up now. Uh, touch trailer, there we go. Yeah, so my thinking is if I take the trailer as well, just to be on the safe side, um, it gives me other options. So I'll get some fuel and then I'll, I'll take it down this road. And then obviously I've got to go get one of these. Probably the B66 maybe because it's nearer to the garage. So get the B66 and take it over to the garage. Well, that's a garage as well. Oh, I might take the C, do this one. Actually, I've got a cunning plot. Oh, that's ghost trailers, isn't it? That's not actually a garage. Yeah, that's annoying. Okay, so yes. So the plan for next time would be to bring this truck down from here, from the garage, all the way down to the log kiosk, and then go get the B66, bring that over to the garage, change it out for logs, and bring that down. And then after that, we're just going to try and get the logs across the river to the lumber mill and deliver eight loads. So thanks for watching everyone, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time.